All right, guys, so this is a quick video to help you understand how exactly I want you to use Kami, um, which we haven't used before, but is so intuitive and it'll be really easy for you guys. So uh, just a few things that I want to make you really aware of. Right when you click in to the assignment, make sure you read all the directions below, especially these reminders down here. Then you click on open assignment with Kami. And it'll bring you to a new page where it will download the document into your Google Drive. Now, if you haven't used Kami with Schoology before, the first thing it will do before it brings you to this page is it will ask you to allow access to your Google Drive and to, to save things to your Google Drive and link up with your, your um, school email account. So make sure you click through all that and approve all that, and then it will bring you here. So this is the assignment. Yours will likely start like this, like really zoomed in. So the first thing you want to do is zoom out using this minus button here. So zoom out until you can see the entire four measure exercise. So here it is. And then once you have the exercise ready to go, there are two different ways that you can write your rhythm underneath. And this is kind of a personal preference thing. So if you are a type A person and you're like super organized and you need everything to be like right, perfect, spot on, I would suggest using the text option. So you pick your font size and then you start a text box right underneath the notes. Um, I would suggest using a large font size. I have 96, 72 would probably work too. But if you use like font 11, you literally, it's so small, you can't see anything. So make sure that your font size is large and go there. You can also do fun colors to express yourself. So if you're using text, that's the way to go. Now, something I want to be very specific about with this assignment, make sure, like we talk about in class, that you underline anything that's longer than half a beat, but don't just do one continuous underline. For example, this is a half note, right? And it's on beat three. So I'm going to do... I'm going to underline it, which you can do using this up here, or you can do control U, um, which is a shortcut. So this is a half note on beats three and four. I'm going to do three and four and, but I can't just keep going with the same underline one and two and, because this means that they are all one note and that is not true. So what you need to do is you need to, when you're typing, once you finish a note, you need to take the underline off, hit space, and then start the underline again. Okay, I know it's not super intuitive, but that's what we have to do. And then again, for this next note, you would do another underline, three and four, and then you keep going. So do not underline everything with the same underline, okay? The other option for you, if you don't want to do text or you're a little more of like a creative person, you can use the drawing tool and you can um, draw your counting underneath. Um, I hate it because it, it never turns out exactly organized, but you can get the gist of how it's supposed to look. So um, here's how it would look like with the drawing tool. I would do one and ah, with an underline, two and three and four and with an underlined. So <laughs> you can see how difficult it is for me. Um, maybe you guys are better or maybe with the touch screen, you can do it with your finger and that's easier. Um, but this really annoys me. Obviously you can erase things, you can make um, adjustments as you need to. And also just make sure that if you're doing this option that it's actually legible and I can tell what you're trying to put under each individual note. So as long as you make sure it's legible, you can do this option. For me personally, I just feel like the text box is quicker and easier. You know, it, it looks cleaner. So but either option works for you. Whenever you have completed all four measures, make sure that you hit this turn in button up here. That turns in the assignment to me. It is in your Google Drive, so it will continually save. If you start working on it and then later you need to come back to it, you can but I will not get the assignment turned in on Schoology unless you click the turn in button here. So make sure you do that when you're done. If you have any technical difficulties or any issues, please email me as soon as possible at jschmeichel at isd191.org, which is j-s-c-h-m-e-i-c-h-e-l at isd191.org.
Good luck.